Now coming to hypothalamic pituitary adrenal disorder. Here, hypothalamus usually to stress or as a part of normal hemostasis releases corticotropin releasing hormone. CRH is released from the hypothalamus and this CRS acts on the pituitary gland and release adrenotropic hormone ACTH and this ACTH it acts on the adrenal cortex and releases cortisol. The cortisol is the main corticosteroid hormone. Cortisol secretion varies with the rhythm and the highest release of cortisol happens in the early morning. And this cortisol release increases whenever there is a physical or a psychological stress or fever, hypoglycemia or any undue stress, the cortisol level goes up. Surgery is one of the most potent activator of this axis, hypothalamic, pituitary and adrenal axis. The greatest ACTH secretion occurs during the termination of anesthesia and in the immediate post-operative period and your cortisol release varies with the degree of the surgical stress. For example, it is a simple procedure which is associated with minimal stress. Here, there is increased cortisol secretion but it lasts only for 24 hours. But if a complicated procedure like a major abdominal surgery like Whipple or cardiac surgery, the cortisol response is larger in magnitude and lasts for about 5 days after surgery. So, depending upon the stress, your level of cortisol as well as the, the duration of stress, the cortisol level can go up to 5 to 10 days also. Coming to Cushing syndrome which results from excess adrenal hormone. It can be either endogenous or exogenous. In endogenous, it is associated with pituitary or adrenal tumor. In exogenous, here the glucocorticoids are used for treatment for asthma or inflammatory disorder. Cushing syndrome basically refers to chronic glucocorticoid exposure. It can be both either endogenous or exogenous. Etiology includes exogenous corticosteroid or ectopic ACTS secretion from neoplasm or it can be an adrenal tumor or adrenal hyperplasia which secretes ACTH. Cushing disease is the specific situation where the excess glucocorticoid are released to ACTH producing pituitary tumor. Pituitary tumor producing ACTH is basically called as Cushing disease. Now coming to the pre-op concentration in patients having excess ACTH or Cushing syndrome. The first and foremost is the obesity with the characteristic moon facies and there is a buffalo hump and this moon facies and obesity can make your airway management little difficult. The patients are prone for comorbids like diabetes mellitus, hypertension and there is an elevated cardiovascular risk. The patients are prone for obstructive sleep apnea. Your tongue might fall back and, and obstruct in the post-operative period. There is affection in the reproductive system leading to female virilization and the risk of venous thromboembolism and venous ulcer are high and they can be osteoporosis, striae, skin atrophy and easy bruising of the skin. In case of pituitary tumor, there can be emotional disturbances too. The airway management can be challenging. As I said earlier, there is going to be obesity and obstructive sleep apnea. Your peripheral IV access can be difficult due to skin atrophy and obesity. ECG for cardiac evaluation and blood sampling should be done for alkylates and glucose. Despite easy bruising, 
the patient usually have normal coagulation profile 